Fun Time with Pepper. In this episode of Fun Time with Pepper, Pepper hosts a medieval princess birthday party, complete with knights, armor, jousts, wizards, and even a monster's lair. <laughs> For the setup of the royal activities, we first have the princess table. Nearby is the door to the monster's lair. In this room is the royal armory where the shields will be painted for the royal knights. Note the royal crowns for those attending. The shields are made from the finest cardboard of the realm, with handles for easy maneuvering. Here we have the staging area where the princess's royal birthday cake is placed. Notice the miniature princesses will adorn the top of the cake when served. Going downstairs to a black plastic covered hallway, we find the monster's lair. A treasure chest is guarded by the monster. This is the knight's primary objective. Note that the monster is really a piñata filled with sugary treats. As the potential knights arrive, they are greeted by the Lady of the Lake. The Lady of the Lake, invites the knight candidates to take their seats at the armory table. After taking their positions at the armory table, the knights receive instructions as to what armor, actually, is. The design of the shields commences with astute deliberation. Onlookers watch in amazement. The building of the shields, and the subsequent perfect designing, is a toilsome task. Great care is given in the selection of the tools used for the perfect design. Each of the potential knights, seem pleased with their progress on the shields. Having completed the shield designs, the qualification for knighthood begins. Those worthy of knighthood, will ride a steed onto the field, to lance a canning, lid. Okay, go get the circle! And now, to find the wizard. The wizard will knight the candidates on behalf of the king of the third realm. The wizard will now knight each of the candidates. To become a knight, the candidates must accept a quest. The quest could be the most dangerous event today. The instructions for the quest will call upon the knights to find the monster's lair, slay the monster, and bring the treasure chest back to the wizard. The The wizard instructs the knights to follow the Lady of the Lake. She will lead them to the monster's lair. As the knights approach the monster's lair, they begin to realize just how perilous the quest is. Will the knights prevail?
the knights found the monster in the rear of the lair. Though the knights fought bravely, they could not subdue the creature with their swords. However, the Lady of the Lake presented a new weapon, the Monster Slayer, basically a plastic bat painted with glitter with spikes made from a hot glue gun. The spikes were attached to the end to make the weapon appear ominous. Each knight, beginning with the youngest, took turns using the Monster Slayer. The monster was no match for the barrage of attacks and subsequently surrendered its sugary treats. After the battle, the treasure chest was returned to the wizard. The treasure chest was filled with gold chocolate coins which the wizard shared with the knights. And so, the princess who became a knight that day also celebrated her sixth birthday. Hey, dear With some instruction, the knights became capable of building castles of their own. Happy birthday Pepper, and may you have many more adventures.